Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Monday morning sharing from the Synchronicity Sanctuary, a sourceful contemplation. And this week, I'm going to share a contemplation part of the process of self-inquiry with you. And the one that I'm going to share today is unity consciousness and sourceful presence, a holistic experience. The holistic experience is sourceful presence as an energetic vibrational experience. So we're talking about going from the contemplation of being consciousness, of being the very source of creation as an individualized expression of such to the experience of being that source. So it, it's not a vibration that uh, it's like sticking your finger in a socket where it's shocking. It's actually very uplifting and it's very informative because the, the vibrational presence of source in you as source is a sign of subtle dimensional dominance, which means that you have created balance. You have created balance through meditation. You've created balance through addressing the imbalances in yourself, both physically, emotionally, and mentally, and that you have done your due diligence in looking at how you have defined yourself and working through all the data that you once held that were dominant in your experience, all the enculturation that you experienced from birth to the present moment. So, which brings us to the whole process here, which that develops such a presence palpable within yourself. And that is the three primary questions that human beings have asked throughout the ages that brought about the awareness that we're talking about today and the experience of holistic vibrational presence within. And that is, who am I? Why am I here? And how do I get out of this mess? Hmm. So people who had the time and focus to start studying themselves and delving into this question immediately started to realize that they didn't know. They had no idea who they were. They didn't know why they were here and they had no idea how to, how to affect any kind of a way out of it. So all of a sudden you're a human being with amnesia. You don't remember where you came from. You don't probably don't even remember your birth or some of the early years of your childhood experience. Hmm? So going from amnesia to awareness to substantiation simply requires the regular practice of meditation. And this is what people did. They put a strong focus on who they were by going inside instead of outside as yoga was developed throughout in the ages and, and such a meditative focus was also developed. And then different traditions of meditation created different ways of approaching it, but they all came to the same conclusion. They all came to the same answer. And ultimately, that answer is a vibrational experience that happens within yourself. It's there, moment to moment to moment. And that is another stage of expansion of awareness. It's not the end. It's, it's just another stage of it, but it's a, it's a stage that brings with it a, I'm trying to find the right words because it's beyond words. It's very informative. The information that comes from subtle dimensional dominance is beyond the mind. It's, it's a, something that really has more of a heart connection than it does a mind connection. And it opens you up to the love you have for yourself as source and everything around you as the same source. So you, you just open up and then you start to understand from that experience who you are, why you're here, and that there's really nothing to get out of. So as you go through life, you have these phases in your life 
I remember quite well my unconscious years and how I was taught who I was and why I was here and what life was all about from people who were just as unconscious as I was. And because in your youth, as I was also, people around you, your parents, your teachers, they are, you look up to them as an authority. You expect that they're going to be telling you something that's really truthful. And they do their most utmost to do that. But what they experience as their truth is still the illusion of being only human. So that's kind of how you, you uh, begin your life and then you start working with it and you discover through your own experience that it doesn't always work. There's something missing in your life. And because there's something missing, you reach out to try to fill in that gap. You try to find something, not even knowing what that might be, to make yourself complete, to make yourself whole. And of course, especially in these days and in this part of the world in the West, it's been well de demonstrated that no matter how much you acquire from outside yourself, you never become whole from it. And it doesn't really seem to alter your experience of amnesia. It doesn't seem to make you any happier. There's no fulfillment in your life because you, you create all the stuff that you may possess on one hand, but what, on the other hand, the one thing that you don't possess is the answer to your primary questions. Who are you? Why are you here? And how do you get out of the mess you're in? Mm -hmm. So that goes on and on and on. I know it did in my life until one day I had an awakening experience uh, that came to me. And that's another part of the question here. Part of the answer is that it did come to me. It came to me because I was asking those questions. I had gone through enough of life to experience the lack of fulfillment in every experience I had, my education, my relationships, and life in general was just kind of a, a treadmill, but it never really gave me much uh, fulfillment, let's put it that way. And of course, we're taught to judge ourselves in relation to that. And then we get into these loops where we're constantly trying to improve ourselves or become someone other than who we are in order to gain fulfillment. And then we go through that for a while. And then if we're, if we try it long enough, or well, pretty soon we realize that that's not working either. I remember, uh, some of my high school friends that I met well after high school that had achieved a status in society and in the business world where they would have been considered successful. And, but, but what I remember the most about my meetings with them were that they were all very miserable people. The minute we got together and started talking, all they talked about was their problems and how things weren't working right for them. So, and that, really struck me because I thought these guys did everything that I didn't do. I was never attracted to that kind of a lifestyle. And yet they weren't any better off than I was. Maybe I was better off than they were in some ways. And so from there, I started to uh, get more interested in answering the primary question, who am I? Why am I here? And mostly, how do I get out of this mess? And so because I had that what focus in me, uh, eventually people and information in the form of books written by spiritual practitioners, Ram Dass in my case was one of the first spiritual books I read, though I was introduced to people in situations prior to this time I'm talking about, uh, but I wasn't ready to pursue it at that time. Once when I was in the service, I got involved in the martial arts. I was in Japan and I met a teacher. I was never interested in being in the martial arts. I was never a jock. I was never that oriented to be that way. But 
when I met my teacher, I do remember very distinctly that he had a presence about him. And that's what got me interested in maintaining my involvement in that practice while I was in Japan. When I left Japan and my teacher was gone, my interest went away. Certainly, it, there were some benefits that could come from it, but my primary interest was in that presence that he, that I experienced around him. So, I had a sensibility without even realizing I had a sensibility. There was a presence that said something that the books couldn't say, that nobody could say. And that's what really drove my continued interest in the pursuit of the answer to these primary questions until I finally managed to get an awakening experience that at least answered some of the questions for me. And then I ended up, of course, where I am today at the Synchronicity Sanctuary, where I got into a meditative practice, very intense meditative practice. And through the years, Gradually, I develop a sourceful presence within myself, which is with me as I speak with you now. And as I said earlier, it's not the end. This is still part of a, an ongoing process of, of wholeness and development, the integration of it and the development of more and more, because as it develops within me, now it develops in my exterior as well to see the exterior as the same source that I'm experiencing on the interior. And that is both my, my challenge and it's my joy to be in the situation I'm in. And, and one of the things that got me where I am was using contemplations just like this. Because when you entertain contemplations such as unity consciousness and sourceful presence, a holistic experience, you are putting a focus in your mind and an intention. And even if you don't look at that after you first contemplate it, it actually goes to work. If you're meditating and creating balance and as you're contemplating these things, then you're opening yourself up to the experience of that contemplation. And this is precisely why we had contemplations in our practice and still do. And that's why I love sharing them because I get to revisit them and I revisit the experience of them. So that is really why I'm sharing these. I'm just throwing them out there for people who might utilize what I'm sharing um, and have the same experiences that I had to finally answer the questions of who you are why you're here, and, and to also finally realize that there's no way to get out of the mess because you're not really in one. And going from amnesia to awareness to substantiation of yourself as a consciousness that you are. And that's what I wanted to share with you today, and I hope that it has helped you and uplifted you in some way. And I will be back again next Monday for another sharing with another contemplation. So this is Jim Clark signing off at the Synchronicity Sanctuary until next Monday. Thank you.